third nations, the nations that are not the great powers in the world, have benefited hugely from the kind of globalization and the American-led rules-based order that the world has gotten to enjoy for the last seven decades. The reason we're talking now about what the third nations can do is that that system is under threat. That system will probably no longer work, will no longer function for anyone. So what third nations need to do is to work out how they can be influential in changing the new order that will be emerging. Bueno, en nuestro reporte eh, mostramos que bueno, la desigualdad en América Latina no solamente es muy alta, persistente en el tiempo, sino que esta se transmite de generación en generación. Así que creo que el reporte eh, abre una agenda de investigación muy rica en nuestra región para seguir entendiendo mucho de lo que ya sabemos sobre la apertura de brechas socioeconómicas en la formación de capital humano, pero mucho de lo que todavía necesitamos saber en términos de qué pasa después en el mundo laboral y en las oportunidades que tienen las personas de ahorrar y de acumular riqueza. I think if Colombia and a developing country certainly they need to look what is the best for their economic growth. And uh, for the economic growth, I think that it's very important to follow the competitive advantages of their economy and uh, to have access to the large market for their products. And uh, in this kind of, you know, multipolar worlds, certainly there are some tension there, but fundamentally it's very important for Colombia and other emerging market economy to get access to technology, to get access to the market, no matter what kind of global order it is. So IEA has uh, launched a new initiative called uh, IEA WE, Women in e Leadership in Economics, uh, that is looking at uh, gender gaps in the field of economics in the global south. So it's a five plank, multi-year, multi-country project and we are very excited about it.